A section of downtown Little Rock drying out after a water main break caused widespread damage. The break near 4th and Main was discovered this morning. Restaurant basements were flooded and people living in apartments woke up without any water. Katrin Asaf is live in downtown Little Rock with what the area is looking like tonight. Katrin. Yeah, well, Laura, Bob, you can see behind me that it's much clearer than what it was earlier today. You can see that most of the crews have left. There's just one truck left over trying to check on some of that water and barricades that were here earlier blocking off this stretch of 4th Street have been removed so you can get through this area. But if you see all of that reflection of the lights there, that's actually ice that has frozen over from the water. So still not the safest area to pass through if you're heading this way. Now, although the apartments behind me do have their water turned back on and the restaurants that had flooding in their basements that has since been removed. Uh, the damage, unfortunately, was already done. Just the front, it, it's it's bad. When Noah Childress parked his car in this garage off of 4th Street in Little Rock, he assumed it would be safe from the snowmageddon hit in Arkansas. Completely trashed. But the winter weather had other plans. I just found out a couple minutes ago that uh, it was completely underwater. Childress is one of many dealing with damage after a water main break on 4th and Main Street early Tuesday morning. <laughs> Freezing temperatures caused the line to burst, flooding restaurants and parking garages as central Arkansas water scrambled to stop the flow. It has been all hands on deck. Lou Dillahunty is the maintenance coordinator for 322 Main Street. He discovered the water Tuesday morning, hours after the leak first happened. He had about four feet of water in, in the basement of one of the areas. A similar shocking discovery to Childress, who discovered the damage minutes before we arrived. I've had about 20 minutes to like process. Oh no, I've got a ton of paperwork in there. Although the water had turned to ice long before Childress checked on his car, he was left with frosty windows Attention car owner. Due and a note left on his windshield from the water company telling him his car had been flooded. I thought it might have a ticket or something on top of it, but no. But nothing left to do but wait and assess the damage. Just tons of beans and rice, and it's just waterlogged. Childress and others at this busy intersection are left trying to dry out and hoping this doesn't happen again. Now, as we mentioned before, remember this roadway on 4th Street between Louisiana and Maine is just full of ice. So if you're going to be traveling out, you might still want to avoid this area, even though crews have since fixed that water main. And in terms of Childress, he said he's just going to be taking Ubers and Lyfts for the foreseeable future. Reporting in downtown Little Rock, I'm Kate Renee Saf. Back to you.